Faces from around the world. Casual moments captured in dozens of countries. All by Robert Lebeck, one of Germany's last great photojournalists. Then there are his portraits of Klaus Kinski, Romy Schneider, and Josef Beuys. These images are brought together in a major retrospective in Bremen. Lebeck, now 81 years old, attended the opening. Robert Lebeck lives in retirement in Berlin. His career spanned five decades. Often enough, he was in the right place at the right time. Like in 1960, when a bystander at the celebrations for Congo's independence stole the Belgian king's scabbard. The king of Belgium had just touched down. I thought, if I go to the airport, what kind of picture will I get? At best, he could fall down the stairs, but he won't, so I didn't go. But the other journalists did, and their bus drove into a ditch on the way back, and they all got stuck. So no one else was there. His image became the symbol for Africa breaking with its colonial past. It kick-started Lebeck's career. He shot the rich and famous for the influential weekly Stern. He kept his charm, but followed one clear principle. Get the photo first, then worry about scruples. Lebeck never shied away from seizing the moment. If an opportunity was there, he took it. Like one night in 1968, when he photographed Jackie Kennedy and her sister by the coffin of Robert Kennedy. Auf der Fahrt zu meinem Hotel. On the way back to my hotel, I saw a limousine stop in front of my taxi with the windows blacked out. Two ladies in veils got out. I told my driver to stop. I jumped out and went in. The bodyguards spotted me, of course. I didn't want to push it. So after 10 photos, they waved, and I had to split. To get the right photo, Lebeck often relied on his wits. For a series on the trip to Kosovo by then-Chancellor Gerhard Schröder, he wanted access to Schröder's helicopter. He pretended to be a government spokesman whose name badge he took from the press plane. Everyone had their names on their seats, on adhesive labels. I thought, maybe I can use that. When we were getting off, I just stuck the guy's name badge on my sweater. All of a sudden, I was part of the inner circle. I was allowed in Schroeder's helicopter, and that was vital. It was the only way I could get the photo of Schroeder over Kosovo. From the beginning, Lebeck knew how to get his way with people and win their trust. Some reporters used to say, Bob would just grin. And maybe they were right. Maybe the grin helped me along. Of course, it's no use anymore. Grinning doesn't help when you're 80. But that trademark grin shows no sign of leaving Robert Lebeck just yet. 